जय कैवल्यलिंगा जय जय कैवल्यलिंगा ब्रह्मा ब्राह्मी नित्य निवासित विष्णु वैष्णवी सदा आक्षित शिव शक्तियालया ओम जय कैवल्यलिंगा जय जय कैवल्यलिंगा and then you see below three books the scriptures that form the foundation for all teachings at kyg we find our inspirations co-inspirations from a teacher from a book while bhagwan sri satya sai baba has been my divine guru and teacher these three books have been my guiding principle and the word kaivalya yoga gurukulam each word is represented in each of these books kaivalya the word kaivalya comes from patanjali yoga sutras patanjali talks about kaivalya in the fourth chapter of patanjali in other words the word kaivalya is deeply hidden inside the, the word kaivalya lies dormant she is a fast asleep and you have to awaken her i just give it a feminine energy i don't know why at this point i'm feeling like that so kaivalya is fast asleep you have to awaken her right and therefore kaivalya ashrita patanjali sutra the words came to me like that kaivalya ashrita patanjali sutra kaivalya is ashrita ashrama means ashrita means peacefully she is dormant within you within me this energy of kaivalya oneness is lying dormant within us where can we learn that we learn that from the patanjali sutras and then the word kaivalya and then we come to word yoga kaivalya yoga gurukulam right the word yoga derives its inspiration and energy and wisdom and knowledge from the bhagavad gita where every chapter is a yoga the bhagavad gita is placed right there the bhagavad gita represents that all our thoughts all our actions every aspect of our life has the potential to become a yoga and that is written by sage vyasa so we in offer this to that great sage who gave it to us so i'll start with patanjali kaivalya shrita patanjali sutra योग व्यास गीता शिव योग व्यास गीता योग व्यास गीता व्यास गीता इज गिव्स अस द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ योग व्हाट काइंड ऑफ योग इज इट हाथ योग राज योग कुंडलिनी योग व्हाट योग इट इज द शिव योग शिव योग मीन शिव हियर मींस ऑस्पिशियसनेस इट इज द मोस्ट ऑस्पिशियस फॉर्म ऑफ योग दैट मींस द हाईएस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ योग so that is given to us by vyasa's gita kaivalya yoga and then the gurukulam is the place where we practice these teachings where we learn how to live a lifestyle okay i have have these values how do i live a life what kind of actions do i take how do i make decisions in my life where do i find my strength during periods of trials and tribulations we learn that from this wonderful and most divine and the very first story ever written in the form of a poem the very first song ever written that is the shri ramayana the story of rama one of the most inspiring stories ever told the story of rama is a story of valor the story of rama is a story of determination the story of rama is a story of romance and friendship the story of rama is a story of sacrifice story of rama gives us an example of how to be firm in your innermost belief how to allow the core values to find an expression so that is the beauty of the story of shri rama and therefore the study of shri ramayana is what helps us understand this gurukulam and so gurukula charan shri ramayana gurukul acharana shri ramayana in the gurukul how do i live i live by the principles laid out by shri rama gurukul acharana shri ramayana and then what happens showed us a guna and then all the 16 qualities of rama begin to manifest in us maybe it manifests in little bit never mind but it begins to manifest the 16 divine qualities that we studied as part of the lingam in a previous episode all those divine qualities manifest 
and then the divine Purushottama, the supreme human being from within rises, the son of man, if you will, rises. And then we begin to see the inner Rama within us as the Atma Linga. And so that, found, that, that feeling found expression in these beautiful words given to me by the divine. And it's a great honor, privilege and joy that I'm sharing with you all. So someday when you come, we can all sing it together. Guru Kula Charan Shri Ramayan Shoda Saguna Sampanna Purushottam Rama Atma Linga Jai Kaivalya Linga Jai Jai Kaivalya Linga And then we come to the next one towards the end of the Aarti where we come to Nandi and the sacrificial altar behind the Nandi. What is the significance of Nandi and the sacrificial altar? We have already talked about in a previous episode as part of the KYG Shrine series. So please check out that playlist. But in this Arati, we say Nandi Vigraha Jeevana Yatra. Nandi Vigraha Jeevana Yatra. The Jeeva's Yatra, the soul's pilgrimage is represented by Nandi. Nandi is sitting facing the divine fully determined that I have to reach my goal of awareness. So, Nandi Vigraha Jeevana Yatra. But how do I take this pilgrimage? How do I arm myself with this pilgrimage? What do I pack? What are my belongings in this pilgrimage? Sadhana Swadhyaya Tapa Sadhana Swadhyaya what do I carry with me? I carry with me sadhana, swadhyaya. Sadhana means practice, daily practice, constant practice. Even if it's five minutes sitting in front of the altar, five minutes of deep meditation, five minutes, not five minutes of yoga, but at least 30 minutes of yoga, something for the body, something for the mind, something for the spirit. On a daily basis, I practice sadhana, swadhyaya, and I also study I study, I learn, I read, I talk, I discuss, I listen to various teachers without any judgment, with an open mind. And then I, I begin to absorb and then from within, my, I allow my inner intuition to help me assimilate this knowledge and I take what makes sense to me at that moment and then I begin to practice. So, sadhana and swadhyaya are, will be our belongings, is what we as Nandi will carry with us. And that is what is going to take us towards the goal. So sadhana and swadhyaya, combine that with tapas. Tapas is disciplined study, disciplined practice. So not, a, not as per our whims and fancies, but there's a disciplined study. So this, the, this, the song goes like this, Aarti goes like this. Nandi vigraha jivana yatra sadhana swadhyaya so now we go to the altar, at the sacrificial altar, what do we do? We sacrifice raga, dvesha, craving and aversions, we sacrifice that along with the false identity that I carry my, with myself, the aham, that somehow I'm separate from you, I'm separate from the world, I'm somehow a victim of circumstances, all this limited identity, I want to sacrifice it at the altar, kill it. Just give it up there, right? Um, that's the idea here. So I want to sacrifice that at the altar. Put an end to it. So it goes like this. Raga dvesha aham bali arpita. Raga dvesha aham bali arpita. Sacrifice it. Offer it there at the altar. Raga dvesha aham bali arpita. Raga and Dvesha is sacrificed and then what happens? Then I have to completely surrender to the Divine. Completely surrender to the Divine because now, the, now that I have sacrificed my limited identity, I have surrendered and that surrender has to be unconditional. Paripurna Sharanagata, Paripurna Alankrita. I adorn myself with unconditional surrender. So the Aarti goes like this. Sharanagata Paripurna Alankrita When I do that, what happens? Then the Self reveals itself to me. Atma Sakshatkara happens. In the 
earlier paragraph, we said Atma Jnana Data, you give us the wisdom of the Atma. We get the conceptual understanding, we get an intuitive understanding. But now, when I completely surrender at the end of the Arati, I actually get the first hand experience, the Pramana. I begin to realize, I am, yes, I am, I've experienced it, I've tasted it the divine connection to the Supreme Being. I'm never alone. I'm always connected to the divine source. And so that is what finds expression in this beautiful offering of the Arati. So let us summarize this last paragraph and offer it to the divine. Nandi Vigraha Jeevana Yatra Sadhana Swadhyaya Tapasadhana Swadhyaya Raga Dvesha Aham Bali Arpita Sharanagata Paripurna Alankrita Atma Sakshatkara Jai Kaivalya Linga Jai Jai Kaivalya Linga Jai Kaivalya Linga and finally, the Aarti ends in a crescendo where we increase the speed, the melody, the rhythm, everything increases in a crescendo and we bring it all together in this. Narayana Brahma Shivom Hari Narayana Brahma Shivom Narayana, Brahma and Shiva are all me. I am all of that. All of that is me and I go into that consciousness. Right? Narayana Brahma Shiva Aham becomes Shivom. Narayana Brahma Shivom. Hari Narayana Brahma Shivom. When I go into that consciousness, then what is there then? Everything is pure auspiciousness. And the one word for auspiciousness is Shiva. Shiva 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 Narayana Brahma Shiva Jai Kaivalya Linga Jai Jai Kaivalya Linga Shiva 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 I Shiva is in me Shiva is all around me in other words auspicious 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 we just fill ourselves with abundance auspiciousness and blessings my dear brothers and sisters when we understand a ritual in this sense when we offer a ritualistic worship with this kind of feeling then it is no longer a mere ritual. It's no longer something coming out of fear or a blind belief or everybody is doing it, so I have to do it. It is your connection with the divine. At the KYG shrine, we connect to the divinity within us with these songs, with these offerings, with these rituals. This has been orchestrated by the divine given to me by the divine and I'm offering it to the divine in you. When all of this is ready, all of you are most welcome to come and visit the sacred shrine. Find healing, inner healing, inner peace, inner wisdom, inner strength, inner guidance so that you leave KYG, you leave the Kaivalya Yoga Gurukulam or rather when you leave, you leave more self-empowered, more self-centered, more self-confident, knowing that you are always connected to this divine cosmic energy. Thank you as always for watching. Stay blessed, stay inspired. Namaste. Shiva 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 Narayana Brahma Shiva Jai Kaivalya Linga Jai Jai Kaivalya Linga